Hey, people, you're at a wall. All right, then. Let's uh, play with our only character that we haven't done so far. This is Eden. Now, you need Eden tokens to play with this guy. You unlock those by defeating Mum's heart. So we've taken her out nine times already, which means that if we can get a victory here, or at least a Mum's heart victory, we should get yet another character. So let's have a look, see. Now, Eden's a special case. I do actually like to come back to Eden um, when everything's kind of done. <laughs> he's fun to play because everything about him is randomly generated. Uh, he's like his um, his stats are they're like centered around Isaac's, but they kind of range from there. So it's like his damage can be uh, I think it's like plus or minus one of Isaac's. Right now we've got two, so that's good damage. Uh, his tears can be uh, plus or minus 0.75. Uh, the tier symbols is the one with the multiple arrows, so it looks like we've just got the one there. We've got uh, the shot speed doesn't vary too much, so that's like plus or minus uh, 0.25. The shot speed is the little ball there that's flying, I guess. And uh, the range has got probably the most significant um, ironic range. Uh, okay, so you can have a plus or minus 5 range on Isaac's range, but we've actually been lumped here with. Just the one, so it looks like we're in the, uh, the minus area. His luck's the same as his damage, too. So that's plus or minus one as well. Speed, which I forgot to mention, is the boot there. Uh, we're doing all right in speed, but that's another one that varies very little. Uh, that could be plus or minus 0.15 with him. Uh, and we've also got four coins here, I can see, in the uh, top left corner. Because that's another thing that Eaton starts with. Okay, You can get with like a, uh, like a random selection of... Uh, Consumables to start with. You can have like up to one key, two bombs, or uh, five coins. We've just been given the four here. It is uh, up to, so you can have anything less than that as well. You also could have a, uh, a card, a pill, or a trinket to start with, which we haven't got. But what is awesome, if you look at my stuff here, Eden always starts with two items as well. One passive, one active. We've been given the razor blade, which is... Uh, which would be cooler if we had red health, because so that's another thing that's randomised as well. Okay, we've got the two uh, shield hearts here. But we've also got Midas Touch for our passive item, which is a really cool item if we can get some invulnerability. But uh, let's just play now, shall we? I've talked enough about the stats of this. We've got the item room right down here. Let's take out these two guys. Whoop. Nice try. Okay, what have we got? That's Virgo again. Okay. I do like Virgo. I like having good pills. Who wouldn't? And we've got to go with a mini bot against Raph here. Uh, Raph's pretty simple. He actually tries to stay away from you for a lot. He only uh, like, rushes you to plant a bomb. And then you can obviously use the knockback of your tears. <laughs> to, to shoot them back at him. Now we've got a different active item here. We've got Mr. Boom. Uh, I might come back for Mr. Boom. And use that to possibly gain access to like a uh, treasure rock or secret room. Should I suspect one? There is a treasure rock right there. So Now, uh, the razor blades are uh, pretty cool. I believe it uh, stacks infinitely, but it gives you like a damage boost for the room you use it in. I'm actually going to go ahead, go ahead and get Mr. Boom right now. It um, gives you like a 1.2 damage boost for the room that you use it in, and you can use it a number of times. It uses up uh, your hearts. It takes up a whole heart. And then increases your damage. Uh, it will use your red hearts before it will use your... I'll put it here. I'll, it'll use your red hearts before it uses your shield hearts. But of course we're in a situation where we don't have any red hearts. Just got a bunch of uh, bombs there. So Mr. Boom made itself insignificant. Really would like to try and get some health though. This could be our secret room. It is not. Moving on. Dead end. These guys are a pain. Oop. Rush down enemies that uh, shoot projectiles in all directions when they get close. Well, actually, not even when they get close. It's just kind of at random. I'm sure there's like a, a timer on their attack. I just haven't bothered to rock the stopwatch on it. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's boss time then. Let's see what we got. Dingle. I prefer to be on the side of Dingle. It just gives me more space to avoid his uh, projectiles. His charge attack is wait, a bit easy. Uh, a bit easy. Uh, can be made easier to dodge when you just recognize that his uh, his turns are just too sharp for you to just sort of... Uh, okay, I got my his touch on him now. 
Manage to touch is nice. There's a bit of damage. Freezes them, obviously. And if you can kill the enemy while they're frozen, you're going to cash in. But really, what you want to try and do is back on um, yourself when you're dodging Dingle's attack. Because uh, he does charge pretty quickly on you. So you're unlikely to just be able to circle him around the room. You're best sort of like dodging in one direction. I would probably dodge uh, perpendicular to him. And then uh, when he's about to do his next uh, attack, you want to sort of dodge in the opposite direction you just sort of went, um, you originally went in there. Where's our secret room, do you reckon? I don't know. I don't feel confident in it. I'm just going to go. <laughs> okay. Oh, another thing that you may notice with uh, Eden, though, is... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Eden actually, uh, every time you uh, play with Eden, you actually get a different hairstyle on the guy. I think he's got like 10 different hairstyles. Uh, it's purely cosmetic. <laughs> okay, it doesn't mean anything. It's not like uh, it, it represents what your stats are or anything. It is literally, I think every time you play Eden, he's going to be rocking a different do. Although we can't really see our do anymore thanks to Fergo's ginormous bow. But uh, yeah, I was also what I did notice eventually with Virgo. I believe it was Arcane Run the last time we had it. I uh, originally confused its uh, secondary ability with uh, that of Cancers, but it, it gives us uh, that invulnerability when we're hit. There's only a chance for it when we're hit. The, obviously, the higher your luck stat, the higher the chance is you're going to get that invulnerability. But it's uh, it's not just any old invulnerability. It's exactly the same invulnerability you can get from an item known called the Book of Shadows. I believe it's called. Pretty okay item, especially if you can with stuff like Mitre's Touch. Okay, this is something I hadn't considered. If we can get hit and then get that invulnerable shield, then we're just going to charge him then okay, and do a lot of damage with Mitre's Touch. We've got some potential. I thought we already had it and it went a bit nuts there. <laughs> now we're one hit. Okay, I'll stick with a small room then because apparently I'm an imbecile. Ooh, trying to flank me. Fortunately, uh, these mushy head guys are pretty slow. We've got to watch for their trails of blood, though. Okay. Desperate for health now. <laughs> Just because I tried to use our Mighty's Touch strategy too soon. <laughs> the uh, the uh, Obviously, our invulnerability didn't kick in until afterwards there. Uh, took an unnecessary hit. So prepare for a very cautious game of Eden here. Because it sucks to lose his Eden, especially in the early game when you, you know, your tokens are precious. Because every time you start again with Eden, you use up another token. Ooh, these bouncy guys. They're a bit random, but as long as we can keep a safe distance of them, they shouldn't uh, get us. Although you, they do have some uh, pretty impressive leaps when the, the mood feels them. Or fills them, sorry. Uh, looking for treasure rocks. No, I can't see one. Although up here could very much be our secret room. Gonna watch out for this dark fire here that will shoot protectors at us. Yeah, I am playing super cautious right now. I don't wanna. I don't wanna crash and burn on the first chapter. Okay, I really don't want that to happen. Right, there's our item room though. Hopefully, health in there. There is a treasure rock in this room, so come on, please give me some shield hearts. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, yeah, I'll go in. Wow! Okay, let's go in here then. Little Haunts, okay. Little Familiar that's going to um, basically aggro the enemy for us and do constant ticks of damage when he's floating on top of them. There's a very, very slim chance we can get a shield heart from these fires. Uh, also, though, when he's doing his ticks of damage, he can uh, inflict the fear effect on enemies, which will make them uh, run away from us. And it's particularly nice on the mooks because uh, the mooks will stop shooting as well when they're in feared. But this game is being super tight with the uh, shield hearts now. I've broken into two uh, bloody treasure rocks now and uh, not got any shield hearts. And now we've got the boss too. Chances are it's Monstro, but I'd rather go in our shop and buy a shield heart if I can. Yes, thank you kindly. I feel a lot more confident now. <laughs> what a difference. A heart makes... I'm pretty sure I've played that uh, track before. Yeah. And we got a key for our trouble. I will blow up you, Mr. Key Beggar. It's nothing personal, mate. I just haven't got the key to give to you. And you normally pay out with keys, but I'll take the cash. Also, killing uh, like a key beggar increases your chance for a deal with the devil. Yeah, it's monstro. Of course it's monstro. It's the second floor. 
So we got the fear effect on Monstro. He's trying to run away. Oop. One of the benefits to not getting Monstro on your first floor, at least, is that you can pretty much guarantee he's your second floor boss. Although I have sussed it now which basement ed uh, boss we haven't killed. Or at least one of them. I, I, it's the Gurglings. We, we fought the Gurglings on like every other chapter apart from the basement where they are actually bosses. So <laughs> if they ever want to show up and uh, brawl with us, we've got a chance of unlocking the cellar. Again, not in a rush for it. So tears and shot speed, good for our DPS. And we got... S oh, I can't take any of this. It's a damn shame because that's a cool ability to fly there. Yep, but it'll be the death of us, so I'm going to have to just say no. Maybe, just maybe, deals with the angel will be in the future. Okay, so in the catacombs, the hard version of the caves. Hard only for its bosses, probably. <laughs> Can't actually say I've noticed the difference. You can get a bomb for a key and some other consumables. So yeah, I like the sound of that deal. Yeah, we've got a bomb back. That's exactly what I wanted. Realistically, anyway. I mean, obviously, I would want everything, but uh, you can't have everything. <laughs> Don't be greedy. I'm going to take out these guys, just because the uh, cramp situations in here make me a little uncomfortable with them buzzing about. Oh, okay, there's a good chance for Guppy. And uh, we've got a curse here that I completely overlooked. So this is what I was talking about um, before, when I said everything's terrible, and now we've got a much better chance of uh, encountering these curses. There's a couple of them. Uh, this is the Curse of the Unknown, I think it was. So now we don't know what our health is. If I remember... Oh, it's... Nine lives! So I was just about to say our health is about, like, one and a half shield hearts, if I remember correctly. But now, it's one and a half shield hearts plus a red heart, thanks to our uh, nine lives pickup here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. So that's amazing. That was a really good guppy pickup. I'm very happy about that. And there's another shield heart. This is why you've got to go for it, guys. I'll take Wiggle Worm for the lols. So I'm going to stick on this downwards path. Okay, now we got this. So you're going to get Mitre Touch. See, now this is the this is a cool synergy. Fergo and Mitre's Touch. Not too bad. So basically, if the enemy hit us, and uh, if we're lucky enough, they're in trouble for that. <laughs> Okay, interesting. I can actually, now we've uh, got uh, nine lives, we can start using the razor blade now. Well, actually, no, we're going to need one more heart, because it's still going to go for our shield heart, because it won't take our last red heart, or should I say our only red heart. Lemon party's good to have. Bomb's a key. Mm. <laughs> Not happy with that. We'd like to find another bomb's a key, so we can uh, fix that. Especially now there's our item room. That literally came at terrible timing on that. Um, yeah, so let's go hunting for a key now. Wiggle Worm, of course, is giving our shots a little bit of a wiggle. I guess you could say it kind of uh, expands your hitbox, but then it also just makes your shots go round certain enemies, so <laughs> it's not great. I took it because there's really nothing else going on in our bonus slot item or space. Actually, I think I had that right. I just mixed up the last two words there, didn't I? It's our bonus item slot is what I was going for. <laughs> ah, I was just about to say maybe we can blow our way into the item room, but then I remembered that uh, we already found the item room, and that's where we lost all our keys in the first place. Uh, so we can take on the boss, obviously. But I really, really want to kind of crack into uh, both our shop and item room, honestly. So, I would be happy with just another bombs or key pill. <laughs> but obviously, I'll settle for two keys, honestly. Uh... Yeah, these rushdown guys do tend to flank you, so just be ready to uh, find a gap and take it. Little Haunt, of course, taking out one of the guys in the corner there. Much appreciated. No consumable drops, though. Uh, there is a treasury rock here with a shield heart in it. I guess we'll play you for a key. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, the compass. It's a, it's one of my favourite map items, in all fairness. What it will do is show you where all the special rooms are on the map. 
so that can kind of help you, um, you know, plan a course. <sighs> that sucks, though, that we got no keys now. Might just have to make a tearful farewell to all of it. Would have bought the compass had it been in our shop. Hello, ZZ. But uh, that's going to torment me now. I'm going to forever wonder what on earth was in our item room. Because it doesn't look like we're going to get access to that now. Unless we get... Uh, I don't know, maybe like a latch key? From the boss here? No, we've got a HP up, but there's our deal with the angel. Uh, who's given us uh, another health upgrade, essentially, with two uh, pieces of heart, or eternal heart. Now, I'm going to pause the game again. Because you guys may or may not remember from our cane run, where we also got Virgo, we also ended up uh, unlocking that achievement, the Angels Await. This is because we, uh, on that run, that was the first time we took out the lamb. So if you ever take out one of the final bosses in the game, you can finally gain entrance to that big golden door, which I've annoyingly <laughs> not talked about the, uh, every time we've gone to um, the dark room now. You might notice the first room where those four red chests are. There's a giant, great big golden door there, which is uh, it's got a picture of a key on it, but the little grey keys that we walk around, even those uh, golden skull keys, are not going to crack that open. You're going to need this very special key that you get from these rooms, and you get them by trying to kill the guy that just helped you out. Okay, power bomb on the angel, and you've got yourself another boss fight. I honestly don't fight these guys a lot, so you'll have to forgive me if I uh, basically get wrecked by him. <laughs> I'm going to actually take advantage of the health upgrade he gave us, and uh, use uh, 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 the razor blade for a damage boost. And since we just got a health upgrade from using it, I'm going to absolutely use it again. Oh, I didn't realise that we had bloody the shield in action there. So I've got right into the devil's face. Uh, the devil. Sorry, the angel's face with that. So yeah, he's got a lot of these uh, beam attacks. They, they'll either go 45 degree or 90 degree. Um, I haven't quite spotted the uh, any kind of difference in the animations to let you know which one's coming. There's probably something there, subtle. And other than that, he's got uh, projectiles. He shoots around the room and he summons these little... Uh, what do you call them? Angel fetuses, I guess? But yeah, here we go. So this is a piece of a key. Key piece two, strangely enough. <laughs> so we, um, yeah, there is two key pe there's two pieces to this key, and we did get an, a key with it, so that was just completely worth it. Do I need this? No. So now we can go into our item room. And we've got this uh, special piece of key. If we can get the other piece, we can crack into that, uh, that glorious big golden door, and maybe... No, thank you. Now, this, uh, maybe earlier, if I was still on, like, Shield Heart, I'd have probably snatched that up. But the fact that um, we've just picked up a whole bunch of uh, red health, the Razor Blade's absolutely the way I want to go. Yeah, well, health is really good all of a sudden. But as you can see now on our map, I know exactly where the item room is. I'm going for it, even without a key. Uh, hopefully, we'll find one on the way. Oop. Yeah! Fortune smiles upon the bold. Or in this case, the fucking ignorant. Oh, okay. <laughs> you win this round, Cubone. So more bombs, like we need them. Yeah, let's go in here. And yeah, we'll take Big Fan, because I'm getting hit by projectiles all over the place at the moment. This will provide some nice protection. Can't be used for contact damage, like uh, the Cuban meat, but... It's not that good. <laughs> it's nowhere near as good. So paralysis, apparently, is uh, seen as a neutral pill. <laughs> I guess the pill itself is neutral. It just puts you in a really negative situation were you to use it uh, preemptively. So yeah, you can obviously still get... Uh, oh my god, you're going to pay for that. <laughs> yeah, I did actually use uh, Big Fan aggressively there. I, I do like to use these... Uh... Come on. <laughs> I do actually like using these, uh, I guess they're, they're familiars, but they're, they're kind of like a, a special kind of like orbital class familiar. I do like using them for damage. There's something um, therapeutic about it, I guess. It's, uh, I, I, it's not therapeutic at all, actually, now I'm fucking honest with myself. It's because uh, I, I like the high-risk stuff. It uh, 
kept me on my toes. Now we've got a key to go into our shop and our money's great because uh, I have been going Midas Touch on these bad boys. And I will obviously buy a shield heart if there's one kicking about because I, I've basically thrown them all away at this point. Oh, there's another key, lovely jubbly. Okay, what we got? Steam sale seems like uh, an absolute must buy. So now everything else is half price. Got lemon party, so depending on our boss, we might be able to wreck shop. I'm gonna go ahead and take on our mini boss too. Even though we're uh, really kind of behind schedule at this point, we should be rushing if we're interested in boss rush. But uh, we'll get boss rush done on all the characters eventually. Oh, okay, I regret this immensely. Best case scenario here, we get shoot to whoop, and shoot to whoop is not a best case scenario. In any scenario, so <laughs> we've basically just come in here to waste our time. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, who is this? Envy? Pain in the ass, boss, really. He really is, because his payouts are crap, and he just takes the longest to kill, no matter what your damage is, because you've got to kill every individual piece of him. I mean, if you just take your time and uh, take out the smallest pieces, he's never going to overwhelm you. But it's not it's not about difficulty, he's just time consuming really. Uh, okay, and we won't be able to go into that gauntlet room because I've got too much health. Alright then, so we're gonna finish off this floor and methinks. Got a really bad habit of just like locking uh, or fixating on the map while I'm walking through rooms I've already cleared. But of course those rooms can still have spikes and shit in them. I frequently walk on top of them. So we got the Chubster. We've got an explosive champion maggot enemy here. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. Oh, she stopped. Huh. Try and take him out because he's trouble. We got a replacement bomb for the one we fucked up. Come on, come at me. Or you won't now, you're scared. He's just scared. Come on. Yeah, eat. Speed things up a bit. Could have lemon party her, but we had plenty of bombs and that's just a health upgrade. I'll take it. Should have used the um, razor blade. <laughs> really should. There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason not to take that. Uh, did I say it was a 1.2 damage boost? Pretty good. It's close to uh, pour a Babylon damage there. And like I said, you can use it as many times as you like. Granted, it doesn't kill you. Or it doesn't result in you getting killed. Oh, I'm not happy with this champion enemy here. Keep him scared. That would be nice. It's a teleport guy. And he's the red champion, so he's got a lot more health than he should. Break a skull for me? Ah, wiggly worm. Let me down. Ugh, no. Little horns. Get the other little horns. <laughs> Quick. There we go. Ironically, to have a ghost scared of a ghost. Um, more health, huh? Okay. I guess the game's telling me to start fucking using the razor blade. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know why I went up here. I've got the uh, compass. I should just be looking at the map to show exactly where I want to be going. Yeah, you're getting Midas touched for that. So where are we going? Down, actually. There's nothing up here. I don't know why I ventured that way. Just completely forgetting what I'm carrying at this point. Oops. Ah, man, they're not very fast. Oh, I can't kill that. That's a shame. <laughs> Thought I could score some uh, extra gold there, but... No. Those enemies aren't for killing. Okay. <sighs> Might be worth using Big Fan here. Just do some uh, more consistent damage. Cool. This is a definitely a good run for bombs. Probably should blow up some of those skulls, actually. See if we can... Uh, yeah, why not? Blow up some of those skulls, see if we can get some more shield hearts back. We, uh, we've started something special here. It would be nice if we can finish off this key piece. So, yeah, put a bomb here. Put a bomb here. Put a bomb here. 
We got High Priestess. That might be able to just do our bossing straight up. Um, nah. Probably worth it for keys, honestly, but nah. Can't be off. That's what I want. Ooh. Now, I'm guessing that's a projectile champion. As soon as he dies, he's going to blow into all sorts of projectiles around the room. Yeah. Starting to slowly but surely figure out what those uh, blue champions are all about. No? Okay. War. Huh. Gotta wait for him to uh, stand still before I use High Priestess. Don't want it to whiff. Yeah. Now he's in his second form. It's a lot easier to deal with, especially when he's terrified of us. Oh. Go, 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 go. Come on. Yeah. Still no deal, huh? But here's the ball of bandages. Uh, it works exactly the same as Cuba Meat. I'm happy to have it. Now we've got some great protection from orbitals here. And now we've actually got some orbitals that do some real damage. Uh, yeah, we're done here. I mean, we have got the steam sale to make um, the shop worthwhile. But I just can't be arse hunting for a key. Even though we're already missing out on boss rush. Oof, double key room. Could be fun, could be interesting. Uh, I think I'll take on this big room first. I'm going to use this. Oh, ha 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 The razor blade simultaneously set activated uh, the shield, which gave us so we could use Midas Touch, and absolutely wrecked shot there. That was wonderful. This is actually a really cool synergy that I'm not taking full advantage of, to be perfectly honest. Highly recommend that you do what I say and not as I do. I guess we're going the wrong way for that item room then, huh? Ooh. Ha. But not too fast, so I'm not a fan of that room. Oh, got a bit too aggressive with the ball of bandages there. Still don't know this pill, huh? Now we do. I can see forever. Saves me some bombs. Oh, this is a terrible room. Don't want to be dealing with these enemies with a bloody messed up gravity. Because they they fly at you unpredictably. And then of course your movement isn't exactly what you want. Okay, that's perfect. Fantastic. Rainbow baby again, huh? Not exactly thrilling stuff. Ooh, fucking homing tears. Okay. Definitely going in our shop. Would be quite partial to a shield heart. Ah, oh, okay, that's probably our deal with the angel slash devil already gone. No, oh, we haven't got a key. And it's pointless going to check back there for. Oh, I was supposed to point to checking back there for a second. We have got. Uh, I'll come back for that later. Definitely want to pick that up before we fight Mum. There won't be another chance to get it. Not without a teleporting uh, ability, anyway. Oh, this is a bit of a twat of a room. Glad that we didn't trigger Wassy's face over there. Uh, oh shit, it's diagonal. So I can't plug that. That's upsetting. <laughs> Moving on. I'm going to go to our uh, trap room then. See if we can get something going. That's a lot of money. Even more reason to let me into my shop at this point. Okay, we've got some shield hearts. They're too late, though, unfortunately. Wish that was uh, our secret room so I can get past our double key room. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Ha. 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 Come on. Ha. All right. Ah, I knew you'd go for it if I went for it. <laughs> just enough speed to slip by there. Okay, so here's our second secret room. It's just got a slot machine in, which might be worth playing if we don't find a key. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Make the money absolutely crazy in this situation. This is actually a really cool synergy. It really is. Maybe uh, more shield hearts. Okay. Kind of hoping for keys. I guess we'll play this and hope for a key. Money's lovely, though. 
sure would be nice if I could spend it. Yay! Okay, you went out on a quite the bang there. Happy with that. And we can get in here. Which has just had bombs in, so I'm really glad I didn't use two keys to get in here. Right, let's go to our shop. Let's go mad with our cash. Let's pick up that eternal heart and then finish mum off. Finish her off, I guess this is our first fight with it. Oh, we could get, we got greed. So we're not going to spend our money. If anything, we're just going to get more money that we can now do nothing with. There will be no more shops after this stage. <laughs> That's the, that is uh, the biggest problem with the uh, the money consumable, is it does become pretty damn obsolete. Oh, we got another steam sale, which we didn't need. Money just becomes really obsolete after you've done uh, the depths. Because it's like, unless you've got money equals power, there's really no output for it. It's a damn shame. They should, um, just uh, putting some ideas out there, maybe urge you to consider doing some more fun stuff with money in future. Alright then, let's go take on Mother Dearest. And I'm absolutely going to be using this. Picking up that. This synergy is so fucking awesome. Did you see that? <laughs> it's really good. Okay, so we're taking our negative. And we've only got one more chance to get the other key piece to make this uh, special. Mm. Honestly, if it wasn't uh, for this uh, Fergo Midas touch action that we got going on here, and the ball of bandages makes this so much better as well, because no one are just running into the enemy, we are wrecking them up with our contact damage. Um, that's our real damage output, though, is where I was trying to go with that. We haven't really picked up much other damage. Uh, I guess we'll head to our mini boss then. Oof, these guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, see, our damage is not good. Unless we're using, like, our orbitals and Midas touch and stuff. Who's our boss? Oh, we can get uh, the left hand here. So I'm happy about that. Oh, that thing's got so much more range than I uh, ever expected to have. Can't afford to be hit uh, any more, really. You can take one more hit if I'm uh, being generous to myself, but oh, that's right in the fucking way. <sighs> come on, come on, get through. Yeah. Because we don't want to blow our last chance for a deal, the angel. And the special key. I, it, it might have a name. I don't know what it is. I, I was about to call it the gold key, but it is already a gold key. Uh, left hand, of course, is going to be great for shield hearts, but I mainly pick it up for Guppy. This could be a secret room. It is. Oh. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. I'll take it. I do like a good rate of fire increase. Quite partial to it. I say let's try and uh, get this deal with the angel. Daddy long legs. Okay, razor blade. Did not get invulnerability. I'm gonna try it again. Now he did. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, this is happening. We're getting this key piece. Or I'm dying. Stick around to find out. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, so that's the ability to fly, I think. Yeah, fighting the HP up. Cool. Thanks for the uh, the handout. Don't mind if I uh, try and kill you now, huh? Okay, so we got another shield heart. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Cool, freebie, do it again. Yes, that's what we want. Wreck him up. There. And we've just unlocked Dad's key. Now, Dad's key is a very special item which can actually uh, prevent us. Well, I say prevent. Uh, basically, mean that we won't have to go through this shit to get inside that big golden door. But there, as you can see, now we have a full key. Now, all we gotta do is uh, keep our ass alive for Shoal. Mind you, we've also gotta get into Shoal. We haven't got any guarantees right now. Yeah. Might be worth uh, having a look what's inside our gauntlet room. Because, you know, if it's something like the uh, the pentagram, that'd be amazing, honestly. 
<laughs> Gives us a much better chance of encountering a deal with the devil after we uh, beat Mother. Because the devil doesn't mind showing up after you've taken angel deals. He's not that picky. Damage is still not good, honestly. Oop, don't shoot him. I might as well just use our orbitals to finish him off. He does mirror everything we do. Consumables. I hmm. <laughs> had a feeling. Uh, I might actually go and pick up uh, this then. Because, uh, you know, the rate of fire increase is not helping our damage that much. But Guppy would. So let's try and go for that. Could look for our first secret room, but as you can see, I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, right. We got a gauntlet room over here. Trap room down there. I'm gonna go straight for the boss. Uh, to really minimise my chance of fucking this up and not getting that deal with the devil. What the hell hit me? <laughs> so, okay, I saw that. I absolutely saw that one. I wish uh, my eyes were... Uh, where else were they? I'm just trying to work out what the hell hit me the first time. Did those uh, bouncy heads really get me? Yeah, these enemies are so annoying, though. Would like to go into our trap room, but... Uh, oh, I didn't want to give up our shield heart. But I already did. Still not going to lose any red health if I can help it. Oh, and this is... Gonna make it hard. Oh, fuck. These enemies, man, and we just weren't fast enough to get out of the way of their shit. So that's probably us done, actually. This might be the first run ever <laughs> where we can't fucking go to uh, Shoal. It's a damn shame. Telepills. Red chests, uh, which uh, this, is, uh, this is our last hole in here is that we may be able to get a red chest to teleport us to the deal with the devil. And then we'd have to skip the mum fight. <laughs> and uh, just go for it then, really. If you want to use this key, at least. A victory's a victory. Speed upgrade. Though. <sighs> Bit late now. Uh, maybe if I use the razor blade, I can... Yeah. Use a shield to get out. How does that benefit us? Not entirely sure. <laughs> I know that uh, using the radar, uh, taking damage from the razor blade doesn't count as red heart damage, or at least I don't think it does. So, had we not already been hit, that would have been a great way to uh, get in and out of the trap room without upsetting uh, the devil. This looks like it's going to be a short one, despite how slow I've been. And I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed for you guys. I really am. Thought we'd uh, show you something special there. Although, honestly, what's behind that big golden door? I'd prefer to show you uh, after we've taken out the other final boss of the game. Yeah, that's worth coming back for, maybe. Could play him. The shield heart. But... It's... Uh, it's... <laughs> just doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> I think uh, if we're going to get a deal with the devil, we'll we'll get him. But it's not going to be because we didn't take uh, red heart damage, because we absolutely did. I mean, there's still a, there is still a chance. I mean, especially if we don't take red heart damage against uh, Mum's heart. And it may be worth playing him for a shield heart so that we can secure that. As I've uh, said earlier, we really got nothing else to do with our money here. Did I go in our sacrifice room? There's sometimes a shield heart in here. Now we got a red heart. Yeah, go on in. I'm at your mercy again. Although, in all fairness, you were damn good to us with Maggie. Don't know if you're just trying to get laid down here, buddy, but I've got a pretty bow. <laughs> and a pretty mouth, if you want to sort me out. I can possibly sort you out. Come on. I'd be happy with, like, one shield heart, honestly, because I'm just... As soon as I get in there, I'm pushing 
hard for... Uh, there's a golden key. Not to be confused with the one that's floating behind us. I'm going to push hard to get that invulnerability and just absolutely take out Mum's heart in an instant with our Mitre's touch action, but... It all does depend on this guy giving us the goods. To be basically in a better situation where I can feel confident about uh, getting the uh, the blade here to give us that invulnerability. Do not want us to give, give him control, so that's just goodbye to that coin. Come on now, come on now. You've already paid up with red hearts. If you could just uh, make them blue, that'd be nice. Nope, that's more red. That's Gatol again. Come on now. He actually hasn't been paying out badly. He just hasn't been paying out with the one thing I want. <laughs> So it's hard to be mad at him. Oh, there's another Eternal Heart, huh? Where was the other one? Was it up here? So health upgrade. Oh, come on. Make them blue. Make them blue. Nope. Ah. Yeah! We got two. Okay, very happy with that. Come on. Out the way. Right, let's do this. It's all or nothing, guys. Attack! <laughs> okay, we got it. Ah, she ran away! I'm gonna have to use it again, I think. And again. Come on, give me uh, my just touch. Uh, no, Furco, Furco. Come on, I need Furco. I need it. You're not going to give it to me, are you? Not again. Is it only once per room? <laughs> there we go. You're mine. Oh, I did everything I could, guys. I really did. But we got no deal with the devil. We didn't deserve one. <laughs> but we didn't get one. Uh, the uh, My last ditch effort is to just hunt around for red chests. And hopefully get teleported to our deal with the devil. We still have got the left hand, so any chest we encounter will now be red. Ooh, went right into that. Come on. Well, that's another guppy item. <laughs> Something to be excited about if this works out. Although it's incredibly slim, guys. I don't want you to... <laughs> to believe it will. Oh, wow. What happens now? I am stuck under a golden hand. There we go. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. The hunt continues. Peep. There we go. Kill him. See, our da we if they were, if they had the balls to throw at us <laughs> the monsters that lie behind that golden door, we would absolutely destroy them with this. I mean, look at our damage without the Mitre's Touch action. It is absolutely—it's such a like a crazy difference. <laughs> it's basically one strategy or go home. I should be using the razor blade, but I don't know. It all kind of just kind of feels feeble now. I could uh, use the razor blade like crazy to get into our gauntlet room, which is definitely a consideration. Hmm. Now the. This guy here, 
pays out with Deal with the Devil items. If he can get him to pay out with uh, Goathead, which is absolutely in the Deal with the Devil item pool, we can open up the Deal with the Devil <laughs> and get him to show. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Razor Blade, hopefully get invulnerability. I'll play him while I'm flashing. I can see forever. Two of clubs, more bombs, why not? Yeah, now we got in front of Booty, now we can just keep playing him like crazy. Gimpy. Oh, it's good, but it's not what we wanted. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I, I, In fact, I highly doubt that the goat head is in this guy's item pool. I'm pretty sure he just pays out with uh, shop items. And you do not get the goat head in the shop. Yeah. This is a really crap item, it's just not back farts. Can't do anything with that. The only item he's going to pay out with is Skatol. That's only going to pay out with the IV bag or the blood bag. We got nothing, guys. We got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I think um, apart from in here, of course. All right. It's a red chest. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's just bombs, though. And I can't even use um, the razor blade for damage here, because that would be the death of me. Oh, no, it would actually use up our eternal heart, I think. We'll see who the next boss is, see if I have to, because uh, fistula is uh, not difficult. Not really. Uh, Loki's not difficult either. Very easy to uh, deal with. He's got, um, he summons a bomb flies, he teleports, not on you, just around the room. And then he f fires three uh, I get waves, I guess, of projectiles. One will be at, f uh, two will be at 90 degree angles, one will be at 45 degree angles. Although our damage is so bad that uh, we are actually slightly getting overrun by bomb flies here. <laughs> There's a chance for another chest at the end of this, maybe? Oh, I forgot. This is the womb, so there's actually a, totally another boss here. But we've got plenty of bombs to deal with, huh? So, I uh, can't say I'm worried. Oh, I just shot that bomb out of the way. That wasn't smart. No. <laughs> now I've tried everything. <laughs> Oi. Yeah, we're fresh out of options here, which is just a damned shame. But like I said, uh, the stuff that we would be facing behind the golden door, I'd honestly prefer to show you uh, after we've taken out the other final boss, which we haven't even been given access to yet. See, now if we get like a deal with the danger, uh, danger, <laughs> a deal with the angel after the mum's heart fight, then we could totally take on the other uh, secret boss here, but. We're out. That's us done. Oh, but it's not all bad. I forgot. This is our 10th victory against Mum's Heart. This should be a new character for our next run. There you go. Every cloud. We got a new character. So you can look forward to that in our next run. Um, hopefully, uh, I know we uh, did some tedious shit there to try and make the magic happen, but I hope you guys can still enjoy the episode. If you did, please leave a comment and a like uh, to let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more Binding of Isaac videos in the future. I've been Bunky though, guys, and this has been beautiful. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs>